Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the upcoming full moon which is coming up on the August 11th. And this is another big energetic upgrade that is coming with this full moon and I will give you an intuitive update related to the energies that are actually already present. We, we had a Lionsgate portal which kind of opened a new era, new vibrational era and many people may feel right now a deeper connection with themselves. Many people may experience right now more intense uh, moments of you know, as we call a sensation where we are, we are dr daydreaming or wandering a little bit. I will explain what are those experiences, what's the purpose of that or the meaning behind it and what it has to do with this upcoming full moon. So the energy is already present and if you look into the sky in the night time, you will see it's beautiful light already, it's big and a big shift is coming with this full moon. So firstly, the first thing uh, you need to know is that it's in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. And many people consider this zodiac sign as one of the more complicated sign, uh, signs. And it's often also misunderstood. And the reason for that is because Aquarius, the sign of Aquarius, it's a deep sign. It has a, a deep wisdom within it. And the reason why this uh, zodiac sign of Aquarius is so special is because it brings us a support or push to, to think deeper. It is reminding us of the great unity of life, of the great web of life, as Native Americans uh, call it. And Aquarius is all about connection. It's all about sharp intellect, which means all about knowledge, all about wisdom, all about passing on what we've learned. It's about independence, creativity, productivity and collective connection. So it's also related to our social situation right now, where we are as social creatures, how well we are connected with each other or how well we are disconnected with each other. The energy of Aquarius can bring us a beautiful sense of truth, why we are connected, what is connecting us and why we feel so separated so we can um, you know, bring back the missing puzzles and see a bigger picture of life. That on the great web of life, everything is connected. So the only thing which is separating us is a lack of understanding of how to use our minds. And this is to me a beautiful reminder that comes with this full moon because many people may realize why they feel so disconnected from everything. Because often we feel like victims of certain circumstances, but most of those sensations and realizations may come from childhood wounds, for example, emotional wounds. Uh, we may experience some deep traumas and we may recognize that because of those traumas, we are projecting our pain to others and that's what is causing <clears throat> even greater separation in the world. And <clears throat> once we figure those things out, once we realize that hurt people hurt people, we may recognize that a great cure to experience greater connection is to, to learn to heal your wounds learn to heal your wounds and as the purpose of each cell in the body is to pass on the wisdom that it learned during its lifetime. We may find our purpose to pass on to others what we've learned, not what we've learned intellectually, you know, like uh, sharing certain beliefs with others, sharing certain uh, intellectual information, but sharing our life's experiences with others. That's why when we are moving through different experiences and we are learning great lessons that life has to offer, 
people which are uh, which are craving that understanding will automatically find us because that's how the nature is taking care of the great balance once you learn something you will meet somebody whom you can help and it is happening almost naturally because souls are connected to each other on that vibrational level and when somebody is lacking certain energy it will be attracted to a soul which has like almost too much of that energy so it can give it to you so whatever is missing within you eventually you will meet somebody who has more of that energy so the balance can take place once again that's why there's a great importance of um, soulmates or twin flames and but it doesn't mean that we should focus to fo to to find a soulmate or to find a twin flame those things happen automatically uh, naturally if we don't force that that's why people which try to force to meet their soulmate or to meet their twin flame um, for those people it feel like uh, it's impossible to find that beautiful connection the thing is that um, less we focus on that more we allow nature to take care of it what we should focus more right now is to to heal ourselves to heal our wounds that's why this full moon is uh, encouraging us to fully release and let go of the painful past which is not serving us anymore and of course the full moon is always that symbol of release symbol of letting go so you can enter into a new chapter of your life, into the new timeline, which is um, which fully depends on the choices we make. And if we're not changing our decisions, if we're not changing choices we are making, it means that we are doing we are taking unconscious uh, choices, which are coming from our past experiences. Which means that we are repeating the past. And in order to break the cycle of the past or to break the karmic cycle, we need to become more conscious so we can start making more conscious decisions. And that's what starts shifting our lives. So that's why Aquarius's energy is so important right now to remind us of that uh, great connection, that web of life on which we are all connected. So the first thing you need to know is this, that this energy of Aquarius right now is present, it's strong and it may remind you of some painful sensations you're still carrying on, like some rocks you would be carrying in your backpack and it's time to let it go. So a great act you could do right now is to just to listen to those internal sensations. It may feel unpleasant, it may feel like um, you're seeking certain external validation because you have something unresolved within you you're still um, uh, pleasing people too much just because you're lacking self-love maybe or self-care or um, you know when we observe our behaviors we always find answers in why we're doing something but most people just ignore that most people never pay attention to what they are doing and why they are doing what they are doing so it's a great time to expand your awareness a little bit and observe yourself just observe yourself and study yourself like you would be a scientist of yourself and just see what will you find see what will come up a certain thought idea insight which may inspire you to go deeper into a certain aspect of yourself because Aquarius is all about light, enlightening the dark places. So it's time to enlighten yourself in the aspects which you need some light. You know, not we are all happy about our good aspects and we love to share what we are good at. But just because of that, we often tend to ignore uh, our negative aspects. And it doesn't mean that positive are good and negative are bad. It's all part of nature. It's all part of us. But the thing is that we need to 
recognize all of ourselves and we need to find the reasons why we, why we are behaving the way we actually don't want to behave on that conscious level. To recognize what are those unconscious triggers so we can deal with them. So we can find out can we do it by ourselves or should we find a certain therapist, a healer or uh, you know whoever can help us with that. You need to remind yourself that you are never alone when you are dealing with those internal wounds. And there's always somebody who can help you if you ask for it. Or if you set some intentions <clears throat> like, I want to find somebody who can help me with that. So pay attention to that. The second thing you need to know uh, when it comes to this full moon is to pay attention to what you will de dedicate this next chapter of your life to learn about. As I mentioned, Aquarius is all about um, sharp intellect. And before the experience, we need knowledge, right? So if we want to shift our lives for the better, we need to learn the knowledge about how to change, how to shift ourselves, how to heal, how to uh, maybe experience a greater financial abundance or how to become healthier, how to experience healthier relationships. We can't make those changes if we don't have knowledge about how to do something, right? As often we hear express more love, like um, when you're hanging with people, express more love, express more truth. But if we don't know how to do that actually, like what it means to express more love. If you're coming from a past which was lacking love, for example, you're coming from a childhood which um, uh, you were lacking lo love as a little kid. You don't know how to do that. And I'm talking about it because I'm coming from a family where we were lacking a lot of that uh, openness, emotional openness. We were not talking much about how we feel. So later in life, I needed to learn those things. And I was only able to open myself once I've learned that it's actually okay to open myself, that it's not a bad thing if you're expressing emotions, that um, that's actually the only way that we can heal ourselves. That's why knowledge is so important. So it's a great time to fully recognize in what area you will dedicate your time for this next chapter, what you want to learn about what you want to learn about so you can start growing and moving forward also in this area. This is, to me, it is a truly powerful thing to do. The third thing is that um, you may feel like you're uh, daydreaming and wandering into different timelines right now. And I mentioned it at the beginning. As the energies are shifting, it may be a bit harder to ground ourselves. So it's important to, to learn to ground ourselves, but more importantly, it's, it's important to understand what they, they're daydreaming and wandering into different timelines, what it means. So every time we're thinking about what we could do or what we should do, we're looking into a different timeline. If we don't do anything, if we don't think about anything, we become completely present. We would become everything. And when we become everything, it means that all the potentials are within us, not outside of us, within us. And when we become completely present, we recognize that the whole cosmos, the whole universe is within us. And when we are observing ourselves, it's like the universe would be observing itself through our mind. So that's why being present is such a powerful experience. And as soon as we start thinking about something or we start thinking about decisions we could make or things we could change, we start wandering into different timelines, like how our life would be if we would make those changes. And more we pay attention to those changes, more we pay attention to how we would feel if we would 
make those changes. More we plug ourselves to that new timeline, and more we plug ourselves to that new timeline, more we will start experiencing thoughts and insights which can help us to inspire us to make what we need to, or to do what we need to do in order to manifest this timeline. That's why it is so important to be aware that the, of the importance and the great power that you have to shift your timeline. Because most people are influenced by their environment and that's what is affecting on their manifestations they are experiencing. And as the energies are shifting right now uh, really strongly, for most people it may be much harder to ground ourselves and to fully choose what they want to experience. That's why it's important to learn to ground spend more time in the nature and you will experience uh, a greater sense of connection with it. You will experience a greater sense of connection with yourself, of, with your higher self, with the source. Because as the energies are stronger, also that connection is stronger. But also sometimes a need to distract ourselves may be stronger because every energy is more increased. That's why it's so important right now to truly choose what is important to you, how you want to experience your life and what are you willing to do to experience that. If you want to get healthier, how much you are willing to dedicate your time and efforts to improve your health. Are you ready to let go of old habits and design new ones? Are you ready to let go of old beliefs and design new ones? Are you ready to let go of maybe people which are not allowing you to move forward and find new ones? Those are important decisions and hard decisions. But because all of that is our responsibility, we have a great support, energetic support to do those changes. So my friends, take time with that. And be patient with yourself. Nothing changes overnight. So be patient with yourself and love yourself enough to do that. The fourth thing is that Sun is still in Leo, which means that um, our will may be, may be stronger. So it means that it's actually a beautiful connection when it comes to the energies, which means that when you decide to change something, to walk towards something, your will may be stronger and you may feel empowered to do that. Also creative energy is much stronger and when you decide to do something, you may feel really, really supported to do to do that. Like, um, for example, just yesterday, I was all day long in the studio, I was painting and I finished uh, one painting, which almost never happened that way. Like, um, often I take more time, like more days to finish a painting, but yesterday I just felt like um, being uh, like I need to do that, I need to finish it. I felt really, really empowered to, to, to paint all day long, or it's hard to explain actually. But the thing was at the beginning I was not inspired, I just felt a calling like I need to do that. And as soon as I started doing it, inspiration came. So. What's the message is that sometimes we will not feel inspired to do something, but as soon as we create the momentum, inspiration will come. It's like the universe would put you into a state where you don't feel motivated to do something just for one reason. So you would learn to motivate yourself. So you would learn to, to do something which is important to you, even when you don't feel motivated to do that. As soon as you will do, it you will create a momentum and inspiration will come motivation will come and that's where you are attracting results the most so use this leo's energy to to walk towards the wanting changes goals and uh, visions for the future whatever there is and the last thing the fifth thing i want to add with this full moon is that it is a great phase of transformation from separation to greater unity as Aquarius is all about that. 
And when it comes to, to that great unity, we firstly need to learn to awaken it within us, learn to uncover it once again, to recognize all the illusional beliefs which are separating us from sensing the connection with everything, with nature, with ourselves, with people around us, uh, with the great cosmos, with the source. The connection is always present, but as I mentioned at the beginning, because of the lack because of uh, the lack in understanding of how to use our minds, we feel separated from everything. Uh, wounds may be the cause of it, certain traumas and painful experiences may be the cause of it. And what we actually need to do is to, to find the sources of what is separating us from that sense of connection. Often this may be beliefs, often this may be certain behaviors and habits, and often this may be also certain toxins we are, uh, like, uh, we are putting into our bodies through food, through being exposed to something unhealthy, um, even music sometimes can, can help us to, to disconnect ourselves from ourselves, or uh, distracting ourselves too often, using technology too much. Like, it's all great, but when we overdo something, we find uh, its negative benefit. So pay attention to what could you do more of in your life to get back to yourself because when we when we truly embody the truth of who we are we will feel connected with nature we will feel like the nature is expressing itself through us that's where we become artists we become scientists we become doctors we become mechanics which are doing our work from our hearts and it feels like um, we always find the solution at the best possible time and we are a great cure for the uh, the toxic system which is slowly losing its power so we can build a new system which is once again uh, built on unity so to me it is uh, an important phase for each individual it's all about internal work and i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power for this uh, important time important phase of our lives and my friends i hope you've enjoyed in today's painting thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my etsy shop i draw my passion you're all truly appreciated you can also check out my Instagram page, Attract Passion, where I'm sharing daily messages, daily reminders, and my other Instagram page, I Draw My Passion, where I'm sharing my art with you. Go there and check it out. Till next time, one love.